Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lan and how are you guys doing? Today we have a little bit of a special, the Ogre Kingdom vs. Axels of Corn battle gameplay just dropped a couple hours ago. And without further ado, we're getting straight into it. No, no transitions, just fuck all, let's get into it. Iron share of the killing done beyond the Bastion. One exalted Ooh. bloodthirster marches his army deeper into Cathay. As corn expands cool. towards the mountains, traipsing Dragons. across desert and past warpstone curiosities, they discover something ravenous. Yes. The most powerful wow, and brutal of corn's great. warriors, exalted bloodthirsters a little live bit only of a to end lives going and harvest skulls. <laughs> Bloated things rustle the trees. Barely contained grunts echo through the hills, Bloated and more than one whispered trees. argument finds the bloodthirster's sharp ears. He pulls his army to a halt, ready and eager for a battle to please wow, the god really of murder. Armored, guys. Though Holy perhaps shit. too eager, the minions of Gorn have wandered into the mountains of Morn, the rightful, hard-earned oh, homeland of the ogre, oh, the kingdoms. ogre kingdoms. Yes. The coming conflict between I play Demon these and guys. Ogre these guys may really have been avoided cool. if not for the dim-witted instincts of a trigger-happy Nobler. Witnessing the premature <laughs> firing of the Scrap Launcher rouses the thuggish instincts of the poorly concealed Ogres, who lose all semblance of order and descend upon the demons, okay, largely so they're mistaking not them for really edible tactical. Scrag the Slaughterer is the insane leader of this rabble, who style themselves the Disciples of the Moor. He drags behind him a massive meat pot and is fuck? seldom Would far from that? a rabble of gorgers. His followers revere him as the legendary prophet of the Great Moor. What the fuck is it this is the exalted bloodthirster's grave misfortune to have ventured so close to these creatures' deity, and Scrag's unending delight to have fresh meat for yes. his pot. Noblars are perfect cannon fodder and even better distractions. Some wear saucepans on their heads because safety's important. <laughs> Alas, there's no saucepan because <laughs> safety's important. <laughs> Large enough to save something so fragile oh, from a marauding is, chaos amazing. warrior. Noblars litter the ground and corn elates, but not for long. Ogre bulls oh, charge shit. into the fray, Ogre pinning bulls. the chaos warriors on both sides in a rare display of tactical brilliance. Scrag doesn't what remember the? telling What's his forces guy? to flank the enemy, and honestly, He's already forgotten it happened. He casts <laughs> them more because he okay, enjoys so the, the sight of impaled flesh. The focus on here, on although the magic looks really fucking good, the focus is lying on here that the ogres are just stupid as shit. Twenty rocks <laughs> on the outskirts of the battle. Mournfang cavalry have been Ooh. biding their time, waiting for an opportune moment Half to strike. On with Ogres the exalted bloodthirster calf, distracted by the giant, the cavalry set their sights on a flagging blood reaper and valiantly charge into battle, only for their prey Holy to be shit, snatched away by a firebelly's flame storm. More cornate forces wade into the conflict. These twisted creatures are harborages Prison of bulls? death. Beings of pure hatred designed to do but one thing. Holy shit, there is so many war. units here. The battle is souring for the more profit. Cornate swords sing with ogre death as the more disciplined of the two armies recovers from the shock yeah, of the initial attack. Driven back and on the defensive, Scrag has one last trick up his sleeve. He casts troll guts on himself which does wonders for his own survivability, but little to benefit his dwindling army. Scrag's true ace in the hole. A rampaging stonehorn and a fresh wave of trusty gorgers are more than enough to even the odds. For what Scrag the Slaughterer and his ogre kin lack in tactical Holy. prowess, they more than make up for in brute strength and raw power. <laughs> the Their home, fuck. as hardy and intimidating as they themselves, may prove to be quite the undertaking for the demons of chaos. There is, after all, a reason Cathay and Kislev both venomously avoid venturing too deeply Ooh. into the mountains of like this is. Wow, I'm honestly gonna tell you, this shit keeps getting weirder and weirder and fucking weirder with the battle. Like, there's so many units, I even, I honestly can't even keep up with everything that's going on. It's amazing.
So I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like button as it greatly appreciated. If you find yourself coming back on the regular for more content that I make, like these reactions, music reactions, gameplay videos, um, or you just want to see me getting my ass handed to me in Warhammer 3 when the time comes, subscribe to the channel as it's free and it's also greatly appreciated to be for you to be a part of this journey of me being something more. So thank you guys for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.